everyone welcome back to my channel so today is going to be kind of like a I think I don't know I don't know I don't even want to announce what the today's video is because I always do that in the intro and then the video ends up being something else so we'll hold off on on that but anyway I'm in the bathroom I'm gonna put myself together a little bit usually what I like to do is just do like a little bit of eye makeup because it makes me look a little bit more awake I always look really tired it's just like the way my face is <laughs> Everyone always comments on it. They're like, why do you look so tired? I'm not, I'm tired, but I'm not like exhausted. I'm just, it's just the way I look. So I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on so I look a little bit more awake. And that way I also feel more productive. Cause I do, whenever I do get somewhat dressed, like I wouldn't consider, I'm not high maintenance. I literally can throw a mascara and go, but whenever I do put myself together, I do feel better. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to that. So anyway, I'm gonna do that. I got my coffee here, made the kids some pancakes this morning for breakfast. So they're eating. <sighs> Let me stop rambling and get this done. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool So I'm ready for the day. I'm just gonna rock this low messy bun. I got a little bit of um, eye makeup on, some chapstick, t-shirt, and shorts because it's getting it's gonna get warm today. By the way, I got these um, shorts for $12.99 at TJ Maxx. So if you're in the market for like jean shorts, look at TJ Maxx. They have really really good deals. Um, and I love these. They're so so comfortable and like they're stretchy too, so they're not like stiff. And I love that this part right here it's actually stitched it's not just folded up because a lot of times when you wear shorts like these they just fold down and it's so annoying but these are stitched and I, I really like that but yeah that's my little mom outfit of the day okay so I'm ready I got my to-do list right here I'm gonna read it to you guys it says homeschool make beds homeschool is a given I do that every day Monday through Friday Laundry, um, clean the door, which means the back sliding glass door because that thing is gross all the time. I, I want to try to remember to wipe it down at least every other day. Are you okay? Yeah. Be careful with that, okay? Yeah. What? Anyway, plan is to try and clean the door every other day. Vacuum, pay the bills, and then uh, mop the floors. So, the floors don't really need to be mopped today. I mopped them yesterday, but... If I can get it done, I'm going to try to. Um, and then like every day for the week, I wrote down like a list of things that I would like to complete for each day. That way I feel productive. I'm kind of keeping up with the house and all that. I still need to declutter my kitchen. I haven't done like a full declutter kitchen clean out and I mean like I really, really want to. I've decluttered every room in our house except for our kitchen so far and I want to do that at some point this week. Um, but yeah, how are y'all doing today? Um, what are y'all's plans? Do you have plans? Let me know in the comments below. I didn't know why you came to me. If your intentions are good, why are you in this hood? But something led me to feel astray. There is more in your heart than I saw from the start. Baby, I feel like So I just got done um, 
I'm blowing off the back patio. I feel like I have to do that all the time and I'm out of breath and it's hot. It's getting hot outside. It was literally so cool this morning and so beautiful. And then it just got warm out of nowhere. So that sucks. But um, I'm sweating. Literally, I will break a sweat so easily. I am like one of those people that like you see pouring sweat and you're like, wow, why is she so hot? Like it's not even that hot. That's me. So anyway, I'm about to have to turn the air on. I haven't had to use the air in a couple days, but now I feel like I'm going to have to because it's getting getting pretty toasty but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the stuff that I got the other day with my grandma and um, let the kids play for a little bit I have the door wide open so before I turn the air on I'm gonna show you guys this stuff okay so here's some of the stuff that I got so I ended up getting this vase this was $12.99 from TJ Maxx I love it love it as soon as I seen it I was like wow this is beautiful I love the colors with some of the um, the tan the gray the white I really like it um, and it was handcrafted in Mexico so that's pretty neat. And then I love the combination of the white and the green that I got. So the greenery I already had, it used to sit in this in a clear vase on my kitchen table. That is from Amazon. It was an amazing price, good quality. I really love those. And then all these came from Michaels. I went ahead and bought them. They were a little on the pricey side, to be honest, but I really wanted something for like that spring, you know, really pretty look. And I will be able to use these year round if I want to. So I felt like it was an okay purchase. So I went ahead and got them. They were half off, but still even half off, they were kind of a lot, but they're the only flowers I could find that do like the, the bouncy, <laughs> like they hang, you know what I mean? They kind of droop down. They don't just stand all stiff. I like when they're flowy and they look more natural. So got those. I also got this mirror, found this at TJ Maxx for $16.99, crazy good deal. It's pretty large. I'm actually going to try it out up here because I feel like I need something round and I told you guys I was on the lookout for one, something like this and when I found it, I thought it was perfect. So I'm going to try it up over there. If it doesn't look good there, I actually am going to use it here, I think, it will be really pretty too. So anyway. I also am going to put these flowers in this vase for the kitchen table because it's shorter. It's not so like huge. I think it'll look really nice. This is that vase I got from the side of the road on, it was just on the side of the road. She had like a bunch of jars sitting by the road <laughs> and I should have got more because she had a lot of them, but I've been trying to declutter and only get things that I actually truly love. And that one stood out to me. So I grabbed that one. But anyway, I'm going to put those in there and then fix this up a little bit, this little arrangement, and that will go on the kitchen island. And then I'm going to try this over there. Watch me under the light. So keep me in your sight. Because I can do this all night.
right, so I got the window, or not the window, the mirror, arch mirror up there. I actually really like it. I think it looks really pretty, but the problem is it's not big enough. Why is my camera doing this? I see you're so strong. Y'all, I'm sorry. I don't know what is happening with my phone. I did an update on it last night. Well, it didn't give me an option. But now it's like picking up the light weird. I don't know what's happening. But anyway, I'm not sure if I like the, the mirror up here or not. Or if I should put that back and put the mirror down here. I'm going to try that because I don't like this here. I wanted to do that makeover for that, that um, clock to show you guys how to easily change something. If you missed that video, I'll link it below. But I painted this clock. It used to be black. And I made it like into like a wood look. It looks really, really pretty. It's just... It's blending in too much with my wall color, and a lot of you suggested painting this wall and like this accent wall, which would definitely be a good idea in the future. I actually would love to do something like cool, like structural, like here, maybe like an accent wall with wood. But I'm trying to do like one project at a time. <laughs> I get so far behind because I try to do so many things at once. So, one thing at a time. But anyway, I'm gonna switch this out for the mirror and see how it looks. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now Your exquisite kiss still burning Didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted So now let me tell you why What is up with your smile? It's impossible, not melting Irresistible when I look through your eyes Not even sky's the limit I used to be satisfied that I'm actually gonna spray paint white. I bought it from a thrift store for like a dollar and it's actually like a tea pitcher but we're never gonna use it for that so I'm gonna paint it white to use for my decor. So my grandma bought me this wind chime and it's so so pretty she got it from Ross we, were, we went shopping together and she bought me some stuff she was all excited to take me shopping and if y'all have a grandma that's like that let me know in the comments below <laughs> she would not let me buy anything but super super pretty Okay, so I just came inside really quick to make a glass of water, um, and I got the kids set up painting and all that, and I wanted to share that with you guys real quick because some of you have asked, what do I do, how do I keep the kids occupied when I'm working on projects, and my biggest tip is to get them working on something similar to what you're working on. That way they feel important, they're fe they feel like they're helping with something, um, but they're also not right in the middle of what you're doing too so usually i have a lot of old scrap wood i save that they like build things with the scrap wood or i will let them just paint that wood as well and they love to do that so if you have kids and you love to do projects but you have a hard time keeping your kids occupied try saving the scrap wood and giving them like some old craft paints old paint brushes and let them go to town <laughs> and my kids love it so that's what they've been working on um, but anyway, I'm going to go out here, grab that white vase, it should be dry now, and the gather sign, and see if I can find a spot for it. I don't really know if I'm going to use it. I might just let my mom have it, so we will see, but I just wanted to give you all a quick little update. Mommy, yes? Can I make some wind, please? 
Can you make some rain? Yeah. I can't. I can't make it rain. But you can uh, play with the hose in the water table. Okay. Maya. Okay. <laughs> can you make it rain? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start cooking dinner, and I'm going to share with you all my chicken pot pie recipe again. Some of you may have already seen this in a previous video, but I did make that video private, so I thought I would refilm it, and that way it was up for y'all to have if you need to look back on it. But I am going to be browning some chicken. You can use however much you want. I just needed one chicken breast for my husband and I, and I am using these Great Value Deep Dish Pie Crust. They are, it is a two-pack, so you use one for the top and one for the bottom. And then I also got some Campbell's cream of chicken and some mixed vegetables. I did use two cans of the cream of chicken, by the way, and just one can of the mixed vegetables. After browning and adding your seasonings, whatever you want, I just stick to salt and pepper. Then you're going to add in your cream of chicken, a splash of milk, and the mixed vegetables and stir that all together. Alright, so I'm about to add the filling to the pie crust and I just separate those. Like I mentioned earlier, I use one for the top. So if you are making this for a large family, you want to get two packs of these. Um, but I just pour it in and then simply just add the one pie crust over the top of the other one. And the steam from this pie filling will actually kind of help get it off the pan. I always struggle with these things. <laughs> I always mess them up and they don't look appetizing but it always ends up being really good so right here I'm just kind of letting it sit and let the steam kind of you know peel it off for me and then I go around really gently around the edges to try to help break it apart and then I take a fork and just smash around the edges and I put this in the oven at 375 for about 10 to 15 minutes just until it's golden brown on the top you definitely want to keep an eye on it you don't want to overcook it you're basically just wanting to cook the crust because the pie filling and all that is already cooked Okay, so while I'm cooking, I'm going to go ahead and load up the dishwasher and just tidy up a little bit. I don't always do this while I'm cooking, but when I do do it, it makes my life so much easier at the end of the night, especially after eating dinner. You know how you just eat and your belly's full and you just want to crawl in bed? That happens to me a lot. <laughs> and sometimes it's nice to just clean up as you go so that way there's not such a huge mess to clean up at like after eating. Um, by the way, I'm also boiling some water because I am making the kids spaghetti for dinner. They don't really care for chicken pot pie, so I went ahead and made them something different. You got me tripping ever since I saw you. I went slipping, didn't even know you. Couldn't even breathe without you. Making the kids some spaghetti because they don't like chicken pot pie all of a sudden. So, making them some vegetable noodles. And I'm going to use this pasta sauce right here. The garden vegetable and Parmesan cheese in it. And just make them like a pasta. Basically, instead of like using meat, just using this and Parmesan cheese. 
So I just quickly wanted to mention that this spaghetti sauce was amazing. I'm talking like the best spaghetti sauce I've bought in a long time. I usually buy, um, oh, what's the brand? What's the brand that I buy? It's like the cute mason jars. What is it called? <laughs> I don't know, but this Pioneer Woman Garden Vegetable Pasta Sauce, y'all, is good. Super good. If you've never tried it, try it. Just splurge on it a little bit. It is a little on the pricier side, but I think it's totally worth it based off the flavor. It tastes like you're eating spaghetti from like, you know, like a restaurant. It's that good. So definitely give it a shot if you haven't yet. It's the Pioneer Woman brand. <music> Okay, so I'm going to hand wash the dishes really quick, but I just wanted to say thank y'all so much for all the support on my channels. I feel like I don't tell you guys enough how thankful I am for all of you who watch, and I do say thank you guys for watching, and I hope y'all have a good day. I say that all the time, but genuinely, like I just want y'all to know I am so thankful for every single view, like, comment, Anytime you share my videos, I it doesn't go unnoticed. I just want y'all to know that. I know a lot of, of times it's really hard for me to get back to all the comments, but I do do the best I can, and I hope that y'all know that, and I will never take you guys for granted. I do genuinely appreciate all of you watching, so thank you. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and keep cleaning up and just finish the night off with a nice, clean house. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest, I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. Shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time, girl, I know what's bothering me. I need somebody to love. Oh, na 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 na. Don't you see what's wrong with me? I need somebody to love. Oh, oh, na na. I don't. Alright y'all, so I just cleaned my whole house. I'm pooped. <laughs> um, I decided out of nowhere that I had, I guess I just got a burst of energy, started cleaning, and then one thing led to another. I vacuum mopped, did all the dishes, put all the food away. Now I get to wake up to a clean house tomorrow, so that's good. Um, I always love waking up to a clean house. It doesn't happen that often, but when it does, it does make a difference. Um, but tomorrow's a busy day, so I'm going to go hop in the shower and just relax for the rest of the Sorry, this lighting is not good. Relax the rest of the evening. But I hope you all had a great day, or I hope you have a good day. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.